Well, it's been six years since uh, I had my Shoei RF1200 helmet and uh, time has come now for a new helmet. Um, six years is pretty much the uh, uh, rated lifespan of these helmets and they recommend that you change them after about six years time. This time I'm going to be going for something a little bit different. another showy helmet I just happen to like showy helmets and uh, comes with a pin lock lens in the box comes with a manual and a chin guard and a breath guard here I just thought I'd record this before I take it on a test ride all right as you can tell, it's white, uh, just like my wife's new helmet. But, surprise, surprise, it's the Shoei RF 1400. So, putting it right next to each other, RF 1200 and the successor RF 1400. I tried many different helmets. This helmet is the best fit for my head. Um, I've had a good experience with the RF1200 so far, and um, it's still a good helmet. It's gonna be my backup helmet, uh, but obviously uh, this is gonna be um, the new helmet of choice for everyday riding. Uh, this helmet now is supposed to be uh, a bit quieter than the RF1200, and it's supposed to flow more air. So those two things are really at cross purposes. I mean, flowing a lot of air means noise, uh, but it does have a difference when it comes to, uh, you know, the, the pads around the neck, and that's where most of the noise comes in. And um, so I, I'm kind of encouraged. Um, what I have to do is uh, start outfitting this helmet for motor vlogging, and to that uh, point, I've got uh, a new stick-on mount for my Cardo, so I'll be decommissioning the RF1200, taking all of the Cardo uh, equipment out of it, taking all of the intercom recording setup out and everything, and probably mounting the cord on the outside of this beautiful new helmet. I hate to do that, but oh well. I've also bought my uh, Subaru, so the Subaru is going to be used, it's a moldable glue, and it's going to be used to mount uh, the GoPro mount on the front of the helmet. This helmet, as you can see, has a fairly uh, a small area here for a chin mount, and uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to have to go to the side, uh, as opposed to uh, on the RF1200. There was a flat enough area here for me to put uh, my mount right here, uh, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to do that with this helmet. We'll see. But I've got my Subaru, wherever I decide to put the, the mount, the GoPro mount, uh, it'll mold uh, to the shape uh, of the helmet and it'll fit perfectly. So that's, that's one good thing. I highly recommend using Subaru to attach your mount as opposed to the 3M tape that comes stuck onto this thing. What I'm gonna do today is to go for a quick test ride and I'll come back with my thoughts afterwards. Um, there are tons of, tons of videos out there on comparing the two helmets. I'm not gonna be doing a review of this helmet because you can find reviews outside uh, on the internet. And um, But I'm gonna go through and just give you my thoughts uh, just briefly uh, a little bit later on. Well, I just finished a bit of riding with the uh, RF1400. And uh, yes, um, I can say that it's a bit quieter and uh, <clears throat> not a heck of a lot, but um, I think it is quieter. Uh, I had all the vents open and um, it seemed quieter. One thing that I did notice is uh, that it was blocking out quite a lot of the tracers engine noise. So I was hardly hearing the bike, especially when I was on the highway and uh, driving at higher speeds. All I could hear was wind noise and I couldn't hear the bike at all. So um, from that perspective, I would say that it's, it's quieter. Um, <clears throat> what else can I say? Oh. This thing here, the way to open the vent or, or the visor, uh, is much appreciated. 
if you can see here on the RF 1200, it's off to the side. I never did like that. Uh, it kind of puts a twisting, a twisting uh, moment on the uh, on the visor coming down, and um, it kind of like, you know, to close it, it's it's much harder in that you've got to kind of like slam it down, and then click. This one here, uh, you just push it down, and it's the lightest, most imperceptible click uh, to close. Look just like this just a little tiny little click and it's locked and then to open it you just push your gloved finger now I've got to get accustomed to pushing my finger here but all you got to do is aim for this little tab here this tab could have been I think a little bit bigger but uh, you just aim for that and you push and in in pushing on it here you're pushing this in sorry uh, in pushing the tab you're pushing this in so it kind of is a two-in-one action with your thumb and you're re, uh, you know releasing it i found it very easy to to uh to undo um or or to lift the visor a lot of people complain about that but i do like a center a center um lip and then you, you just click it down and have it closed this has come out in previous reviews uh, by other people it's got a completely new gasket um you can see there's a hole here uh, i guess to relief release pressure and then there's this material here i don't know uh, what that is all about but um completely different gasket design and that helps uh with the quietness i suppose right now i've got this uh breath guard i have not had good luck with these breath guards here um because they fog up my glasses um Right now, it's today, right now, it's probably about getting close to 90 degrees. The humidity is fairly low and uh, I don't have too much of a fogging issue, but coming into winter, I'm sure that's going to be uh, an issue. And as a result, what I usually do is, is, is take the, the breath guard out and I ride with it like this. One of the things that I knew that was going to probably be a problem is the detents. And I discounted many, many helmets because uh, at the lowest detent, which is what this is right now, if you notice on the six on the 1200, um, you can go right here and it's a solid detent. Whereas with the new helmets, uh, when you get down to here, it's kind of like it, it wants to close. It doesn't. It's not a very strong detent. And many helmets I discounted because of that feature or that lack of a feature. Uh, you've got to push it up one more notch to like there, and that's hard. That'll stay open at any speeds that you know you probably want breeze at. So anything below 60 or so, this is not going to push down. But that's a lot too much. That's far more gap than this. You only want a little bit of a gap, you know. And when you get down to that area, to that to that gap size, it tends to want to just close like that and um, all of the other showy helmets had that problem and I thought that the uh, RF 1400 uh, didn't have the problem but it does so that's a little bit of a disappointment oh I just noticed I didn't have this vent open in my ride I had these two open but I didn't have this one open so I could get even more ventilation if had I had this one open but with these, I could feel the, the, the breeze, uh, you know, moving my hair. So I know it's flowing up there. Uh, this one here, these vents in front, <coughs> this directs the air up here. So it clears, it's designed to clear the windshield, I guess. And um, so I wasn't getting a lot of breeze in front of my face. Um, because of this problem here, this, this tending, tendency to close, I was keeping the, uh, the visor closed most of the time. So... Uh, in a sense, from that perspective, you could say that it's a warmer helmet than this one. Because with this one, I'd be riding around with the gap open like this all the time and I'd be getting far more breeze. Uh, this helmet has the central vent as being this little hole here, which um, people complain that, you know, this little switch here is harder to close and it is. Uh, but the thing is, I tend to ride with my vents open all the time. So for me, closing and opening is not an issue. But definitely this one is easier to close and, and open with a gloved hand. Beautiful Sunday morning. Um, humidity is probably medium. Uh, it's not all that, uh, that humid right now, but it's getting warm. Um, as you can see, people are coming in here, uh, slowly filling up the park. And people are gonna be coming in here, spending uh, maybe lunch 
having barbecues and that kind of stuff. So it's kind of nice. Like I said, this wasn't, in, I, I didn't intend to do a review of the two helmets, um, you know, especially comparison between the two, but it's only natural that I would compare because I've lived with this uh, RF1200 here for the last five years or so. And um, it's been my go-to helmet. Even though I've bought other helmets, this is always the, 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 the preferred helmet. It's a fully Snell approved, Snell 2015, and this one here, Snell 2020 uh, standard. Um, it does feel a bit lighter right now, even though they're both XL. I wear an XL helmet. Um, this one feels lighter, but this one has a lot of uh, extra stuff in it, cables and stuff like that. So uh, it does feel a little bit heavier. Um, in terms of this, I can, I can mention that um, when it comes to lift from underneath the chin up, um, there is not a lot of difference between the two. They're both very, very good when it comes to lift. When it comes to put, if you, when you put your head down like this, you know, facing your head down, um, with this one here, I tend to find that the, the, the spoiler is probably more effective and it tends to want to push your head back up. So when you push your head down like this, there is a force trying to raise your head back up. So once you get it into that optimum position, uh, the flow is just perfect. Nobody rides like this with their chin on their, on their chest. So that's not an issue. Um, in other words, it's designed to do what it's, you know, supposed to do. And it flows air beautifully. When you turn your head from side to side like this, uh, there's no, you know, uh, wind effect catching it and, uh, you know, twisting your head, twisting your neck or anything like that. It's just perfect. So yes, kudos to, to Shoei. They did a lot of good testing uh, in the wind tunnel and it pays off on that helmet. That's a great helmet. I'm very pleased with that. Um, the only thing I'm, like I said, that I'm not too pleased about is this little gap. Because I live in Houston and it's always hot and I'm always needing as much air as I can get. So it means that either it's fully open or it's closed. Uh, so far the new helmet, as you can see, I, I know I didn't really finish off the uh, outfitting of, of it for uh, recording in the com, but as you can see uh, the mount here has been mounted with white Subaru and uh, I'll do a couple of close-up shots afterwards and also uh, I've got white gaffer tape there put on fairly neatly as, as neatly as I can um, so that's on uh, quite as best as it can and of course the cardo packed up bolt is on the left uh, using a stick-on mount so very pleased with this helmet so far um, it's every bit as good if not better well it is better than the than the rf 1200 it's it's more of an evolutionary upgrade as opposed to a revolutionary upgrade and i'm very pleased with it um, it would have been nice to have some nice nice graphics on it but i kind of like the white the white helmet anyway and uh, i know it's going to be cooler on those long runs uh, in the hot sun so um, not not too uh, you know disappointed in that aspect the only thing I can say about this helmet is that this hinge is a little bit harder to um, to manipulate and remove the visor I mean I fought uh, to get the, the actual uh, original Shoei helmet uh, visor off and um, it's a struggle um, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to get off uh, maybe it's got to wear in a bit but um, yeah that's the only complaint so far uh, other than that, the helmet is perfect. Um, it fit all my wiring. I don't feel any wiring in there. Um, the only thing I could say is probably I'm going to bring my speakers a little bit closer to my ears. I do have thicker spacers for the speakers. And um, I'm probably going to use I think I tried that on the RF1200 and they were a little bit too, too close, too much pressure on the ears. Um, but I'll try it with this one and see how it goes because it's a different helmet. Uh, but other than that, no, it's perfect. Um, very, very pleased with this helmet. So until I talk to you in the next video, take care, keep the shiny side up, and see you later.